A famous figure skater once told me, I've fallen 35,000 times in front of the public. I get up every time and try again. That's what research is. We fail more than we succeed, but when we succeed, it's very sweet. My name is Daniel Drucker, and I'm an endocrinologist. I study hormones. I probably am very uh, driven to succeed. I think that reflects who I am. I'm a, a Holocaust survivor's child. One doesn't mess lightly with the privilege of freedom that Canada offers you, and I'm pretty certain part of my motivation reflects what my parents went through. The number of individuals with short bowel syndrome is very rare. My name is Yvette Vol. Back in uh, 2002, I um, had a complication from a prior bowel surgery, and as a result of that, I ended up with a short gut syndrome. Someone with short bowel syndrome does not have enough functioning intestine to absorb ingested fluid, water, food. I ended up uh, having to be on IV nutrition, 10 hour infusion every night for uh, the next uh, 15 years. Travel is often not an option. Socializing and eating late at night is often not an option. It is a very difficult daily life. Before GLP-2, it, uh, it was a pretty dark time, I have to say. And when we discovered GLP-2, we said we can grow back enough functional intestine to make a difference. I was uh, offered the opportunity to go on a drug trial. The therapy is extremely easy. I just administer it to, um, to like a stomach muscle, any, anywhere where there's a muscle, so thigh or stomach. And I do this every morning and um, go about my day. Endocrinology, we're very simple. If there's too much of a hormone, we block it. If there's not enough, we replace the hormone. As soon as I got to go on the GLP-2 therapy, it completely changed my life. I immediately got more energy. It was an immediate rebirth. I have an amazing research laboratory. They are tremendously skilled, very smart. They work very hard highly motivated individuals. So research I would often describe as good days and bad months. But every once in a while, sometimes it's every couple of years, the magic happens. And if we're really fortunate, that magic gets translated into new therapies that help individuals with diseases. Nothing better than that in science and medicine. I would love to meet Dr. Drucker and uh, just to, to let him know that there are patients out there that it has completely transformed their lives. I love my work. I love to read. I love to think about science. I do have a wonderful family. I do have hobbies. I do have lots of things I like to do. But there's no question that work probably drives me every day and I never stop thinking about it.